So let's say I want to find the equation of the line passing through 3 minus 5 and minus 7, 2 in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0, where a, b and c are integers. So we're going to work through this and find the equation of the line in the form y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. So first of all, I need to find the gradient of the line, m. So that will be the difference in the y-coordinates, minus 5 take away 2, divided by the difference in the x-coordinates, so 3 take away minus 7. So we'll have minus 7 in the numerator and 10 in the denominator. So minus 7 tenths is the gradient. So we can then say, using this coordinate as x1, y1, that y minus minus 5, or take away minus 5, which is y plus 5, is equal to m minus 7 tenths times x minus 3. OK? Now at this stage, um, I wouldn't particularly advise multiplying out the bracket and getting it to y equals mx plus c form and then dealing with it that way. It's faster to deal with it in its current form. So because we've got that minus 7 tenths, it's going to cause problems with the fractions. So to get rid of the problem of the fractions, what you can do is you can multiply both sides by the denominator of the fraction. Now obviously this doesn't matter if this is a nice whole number, Okay, but because it's not in this case, to get rid of the fraction, if I multiply everything by 10, then I won't have to deal with fractions. So multiplying everything by 10, I'm going to get 10y plus 10 lots of 5, so 50. 10 lots of this is minus 7, lots of x minus 3. Okay, that is multiplying both sides by 10. So now I can multiply out that right-hand side. So 10y plus 50 is equal to minus 7x uh, plus 21. Okay? And now you can move everything onto one side of the equation, like they have in this form. So add the 7x to both sides. We've got the 10y, and then take 21 from both sides will give me 29 left over is equal to 0. And that is in the format that they want. We've got a, b and c are all integers and so the line can be written in that format. Okay? So this way of dealing it with the fractions here and getting rid of the problem is a particularly useful thing to do. So uh, try to keep that one in mind if ever faced with this problem.